And I spoke with Michael earlier today, just prior to the end of the first practice session, or the practice session he had, and he was really liking his race car. He was really driving good, felt good getting down in the corners, and uh, he's another one of those drivers who's had some success here at, at Lowe's Speedway. On pace for third right now. He was, he was top 10 in practice. He was 192 miles per hour going off into turn one after taking the green flag. <laughs> That's what they're there for. Here comes Ricky Craven. Humble pie fed to everyone. Yep. Craven on the uh, gas in his uh, tied ride. Ricky was 35th. Laps on the clock yet today, either, and everybody chasing Casey Mears so far. So far, 36 cars. Have taken time and Craven so far has beaten no. all. It's like eight of them so far. To beat Tony Stewart with a 28-92 to take the top spot from Stewart. And I know this team tested down here, and there were several teams that tested. He was one of the fastest cars at the test. This thing just looked fast yeah. getting into the corner. He gained a lot of time right there, but it's getting off of turn two that I'm really more curious about. And so far, he's off just a little bit. How he handles three and four could be real important whether he's going to make a shot, make a run on his pole run. Numbers coming down as he gets into the corner. And now holding. Just did not get off turn two, and that hurt him all the way down that back stretch. And we've seen many cars that's had the same problem. 29 on one. The racetrack has in it, you think, DW? You know, Larry, this isn't Bristol, but it's a lot like Bristol. Well, Rocket Man Ryan Newman on the racetrack and his teammate Rusty Wallace on the pole. See what the all tell Dodge can do here. He went around Bristol and it is fast or faster than anything I ever thought I'd see, and I just wonder if he can do that here at Dover. The last. 10 races. He's qualified in the top 10. He's fastest right now. There you see it. If he can get through three and four, right around the bottom, race car looks good. Oh, it looks really good. And he got off of that corner excellent. There it Did is. It. I mean, he beat Rusty Wallace. Bill's incredible record at uh, Indy that Matt alluded to when he comes out to run in a little while. Here's Casey Kane, his Everham Motorsports teammate, of course, the uh, number nine that Elliott drove to Victory Lane here at Indy a couple of years ago, 2002. Not the same car, the same number, same team. Yes. Right now, Casey Kane on track to be the sixth best car, seventh. But once again, it looks like most of these guys are losing it in turns one and two. Yeah. But tell you what, that's a pretty good lap. Yeah. Four poles this season for Casey Kane and his rookie campaign on the NASCAR Next L Cup Series. Doesn't look like number five is going to be today. Let's see what kind of an outcome he gets here. In here, fifth in the standings, 137 out of first. He picked up two tenths from what he practiced earlier. You can't really see on the screen here. This car, though, it's not the glossy black. It's a flat black, as you see him bottom that left front out. And asked Donnie Wingo, his crew chief, Jamie McMurray's crew chief, why the flat black? And he said, Jamie thought it was cool. Cool is the operative word. But the thing is right now, to, to add an explanation point to that, Jamie's got a flat black helmet. Jeff Gordon, who won here from the pole last July. Most observers have described Gordon's car this week with two words, bad fast that thing is buddy and i tell you i'm gonna see what it runs down the back they've been running 183 184 and where i saw him look really fast to me was down the straightaway going down that back straightaway first, first lap, lap 47. if you're under 48 50 on your first lap you've got a good chance to break 48 seconds on your second lap he's gonna break into the 47 second i just don't think he will run what he ran yesterday no. because he'd have to pick up a second yeah he ran 47 30 yesterday it's hard to not get out there and get a little help even when there's other cars around on the racetrack somewhere the air is moving and you always pass in the past the rest of the speeds will determine the starting lineups for thursday's gatorade duel at daytona just as in the past what is different is that the top 35 cars in last year's owner points are guaranteed spots in the 500. That will continue throughout the season. The top 35 are in. The eight remaining positions, since there is no driver who will need to use a champion's provisional, and there is one of those available. You run and that's what you got. And, and, and really, I, I saw some, I heard some frustration in that interview because I'm sure that Tony Geary Jr. is asking how's the car, and Really, he's trying to figure out what to tell him to do to the car to make it better. The, the, the problem is you get around here so fast you can't remember. Exactly. It's, 
Why don't you write rear fender of Ward Burton's car here? Let's sit down on the tire a little bit. I thought I saw a puff of smoke when he came by on his first lap. Like, he might have had that right rear tire rubbing the fender well. Crew chief, that's kind of a message. Shut it down. Yeah, he did. Oh, he's going again. Must have felt he left something on the table. When Wally talked about him getting loose there, he says, this time I'll be faster. And you know what? Certainly he might be, but he's going just a tick slower. 